Next came the woodworking portion of the project. So I brought in the vectors that I had created from Corel Draw. So once I brought in those vectors into ArtCam, it was just a matter of assigning the different shapes, different Z height to each uh, element, and uh, gave them all some relief. So for this design here, I used a uh, the first pass was a roughing pass, as you'll see here. So I found that uh, this really took out a lot of, uh, of the wood material, which is Amana tool bit number 46282. Uh, the 116th ball nose really did the trick for the details. That one pass, uh, ball nose pass was sufficient to get uh, what I needed for this project. So once I have all my tool paths programmed, it's just a matter of saving them off onto my uh, jump drive and then I can take my jump drive over to my DNC machine and load it up in order for my machine to carve it. Once my part is carved and sanded, I applied a stain to it. My creations, I really have some deep reliefs, like uh, in this case with all the gears, um, I just used a brush so I could really get into the crevices and in between the recess and all those spots. So I go over each gear and each detail and the background texture as well that I put in there purposely with uh, this technique in mind. So I go over the, t the relief uh, surface and uh, just blur away uh, by hand uh, just to get a nice smooth finish.